Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over one of the array functions, which is find all elements. And find all elements will find all the matched elements in an array based on whatever expression or group of expressions you define. So let's jump into an example. Here on my screen, I'm just querying this table called stuff, and I'm returning it as this variable array. And we see we have stuff, description, and what user uh, each thing or stuff belongs to, right? So let's go ahead and let's say we want to find all the matched elements that belong to user ID 2. Now, just want to say that our query all records, we can easily do that and filter for that. However, just for the purpose of this example, we're going to use this array function. Uh, so it's an extra step. You wouldn't normally need to do this, but I just want to show you an example with an object array here. So let's go to data manipulation. Let's go to arrays and right near the bottom, find all elements. So when we open this, the first thing to do where it says array, we define whatever existing arrays in our function stack. In this case, I named that query all records from stuff as a variable named array. And now we will go into the expression builder and you'll notice this message in blue just tells us to use the dollar sign this variable to represent each iteration of the array. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can define, we can say where uh, this and in this is the entire object. So I need to actually drill down here and I'll use dot notation to do that. And I'll say user ID and we'll set that equal to two. Now, of course, I can add more expressions here and combine them. Um, I can use different operators and filters on here. I could make this value dynamic with inputs or other variables, but we'll just go ahead and hard code this in for now. And we'll go ahead and just call this result variable here results. You'll see that'll update. And let me just change my response now. So when we run this, we should see only elements with user ID two, And we can see that in our original array, there were four different ones and we're able to return uh, the result of that. So hopefully that's helpful. It's a really nifty handy tool where you don't have to uh, put in any kind of loop or conditional logic. It's just a one liner. Of course, like I said, what we actually did, we could easily do just in the query all records, but I wanted to show you a quick example. So thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful.